Let's have a look-see at the Benbow Trekker tripod. Well, not a standard piece of shop equipment. If you uh, shoot any videos or take photos in your shop, or perhaps you take product photos uh, on a counter, uh, th this tripod, I believe, is the one that you want. This Bembo is the MK3 iteration. It's the latest version, made in England. I remember Benbo, 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 not Bimbo, Benbo. This tripod's really ingenious because it's a single lever that loosens up the legs, and once loose, the legs can be oriented in virtually any sort of configuration you can imagine. Get it set up, you plop it down, and then you just tighten the lever up and. It's really, really solid. This Bimbo's legs can be spread wide. Bimbo. But I'm not sure that you actually want to do that because uh, in this configuration, you really have to crank the handle down or it, 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 it just doesn't, doesn't hold very well. The legs really don't need to be spread very wide anyway because this Bimbo can go all the way down to where the action is. Bimbo. Not Bimbo. It's about 62 inches high at maximum extension. Probably could be made a little bit higher if you were to draw those legs in a little bit closer. Now here's the money shot. This bimbo can be bent over your tabletop and put into all sorts of kinky positions. Oh, bimbo, I gotta get my mind out of the gutter. Concentrate. This tripod is fantastic because in this configuration where it goes over you and in between you and your workpiece, you can uh, film vi YouTube videos and get point of view shots and get your hands in there and show, show everybody exactly what it is that you're looking at and doing. Now let's have a look see how this thing's put together. Start with the feet. It's kind of a hard plastic with these nubbins, presumably for terrain. These tripods are popular with wildlife photographers, it seems. The plastic's quite hard. I'm not quite sure what it is. Um, some people on the internet have complained about them falling off, but if that ever happens to you, just, uh, just, use, just use some contact cement. No big deal. Now to the other end. I want to see how it's put together. Let's Whip off the lever. Okay, this lever is a bit of a weak point, I think. It's, I believe it's aluminum. It could be zinc. It's been on the heavy side for aluminum, really. Um, it's a bit of a weak point because it, it's very loose and flops around. And the paint job is, uh, I don't think it's the strongest. Uh, if you look at Benbo tripods on sale on eBay, and there's often lots of them on sale, generally these these levers are all beat to hell. They're all the paint's all flecked off. You got a washer, a spring washer, another washer in there. I can't get it at the moment. Uh, pop that off. There's one limb. And let's put this aside and examine this limb in a little bit more detail. It's a three millimeter. Yeah. Three millimeter. A set screw. pointed end. Yeah, back to eBay, when I was looking to buy this tripod, I was looking at a bunch of used ones, and I'm pretty sure these hardware are not stainless steel. There's, uh, the rusting seems to be a bit of an issue, but it's a standard set screw, so it, it, you could replace it. I actually have a bunch of stainless set screws. Maybe I will replace these eventually. Let's pop this out. Well, you can see this is a single aluminum casting. Very, very lightweight. 
and the way it works is the set screw is threaded on this half and just pushes on this half and it just wedges it wedges itself into position. Let's get this out of the way. Make a bit of a closer look here at this handle. And there is a a insert, presumably a steel insert that's That'll give a little bit of strength for because because this really does need to be cranked down to get the tripod really nice and stable. Let's put that aside, and now let's just check out this mechanism. Okay, here's an aluminum casting, and apparently the. MK3 iteration. What is unique about it is supposedly it has geared faces. They call it geared and I take it that means it's just this little bit of, I'm not sure whether the camera's picking it up here. Let me zoom in. Yeah, it's just a little bit toothy. I really wouldn't call that geared and it's, it's pretty subtle. Okay, um, this here is just a bolt. That's it. Yeah, it's just a bent bolt. Be nice if it was stainless. Doesn't look stainless. Looks like it's just bright plated. Huh. Replacing that, that would not be very easy to do. I'm not sure you'd have very much luck bending one of these custom out of out of a stainless screw or something like that. So. Put that aside. And now let's take a look at this. Pull that tripod, the center leg out. And we have Posi Drive. Interesting. taking this apart is I want to see how how the clamps work what 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 they're what they're doing to um, to bear down on that aluminum tubing little tiny lock washers spring washers don't lose those okay and there we have it. Interesting. That's Delarin, I'm pretty sure. And just a standard nut, easy enough to replace. Again, not stainless. The plastic seems to be solid. I, I can squish it a little bit though. It has some give, so I'm not sure it's glass filled. Take a carbide scribe, just check that out. If it was glass, I would expect scrunchiness as I'm passing the scribe along. Okay, so there you have it. Um, the innards of this Benbo tripod. It seems like a very, very simple design, and it's really, really clever. Oh yeah, here's a, here's some plastic, some plastic bushings to prevent, prevent uh, marring the paint finish. Yeah, it's a, it's a very simple design. Uh, you can replace most of these hard, most of this hardware, uh, should it get rusty or go bad on. The only thing is this bent screws a little bit. I'm not sure what to do about that if that was to get all rusty. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's a very impressive uh, impressive design, very simple. And uh, yeah, I'm going to be using it uh, for this YouTube series. And hopefully um, hopefully you guys find it useful. And, uh, and if you're looking for some sort of an option for taking pictures in the shop or taking videos, shooting YouTube videos, do product videos for eBay or whatever as well, I, I, I think that this is the tripod that you want to get. 
Sadly, they're no longer available in North America, and I have to get this one on Amazon.uk, United Kingdom Amazon, um, which is actually fairly competitive in pricing, not, not too bad. Anyways, until next time, there's always room for tools, and remember the bimbo. Bimbo. I gotta get my mind out of the gutter. This bimbo might have brains as well as beauty, you know. These high heels are waterproofed, and this bimbo can get wet. If you work the right knobs, you can elevate this bimbo to new heights. My only complaint is that this wrist here tends to whack off, and it's gonna get all banged up.